you know, in one of the crates, there's a a couple bottles of ale. So yes, you, you can definitely take you know there's uh, a whole a whole case of these. So 24 bottles of ale in one of these crates. No Aberdeen gold is, whatsoever. No, no gold, no no money. But uh, as you guys are now, what else are you guys doing? You, you're just kind of hanging out here in the hall, or? I think we should uh, well, take the bodies in here and the hide room. them behind these uh, boxes and barrels yeah, and everything. Good idea. I want to go into the room too and check it out. Okay. I'm keeping watch on the corridor here. All right, so you guys are. I really want to look at the uh, paperwork and see what's going on. Yeah, so on that ledger that's thrown on that was thrown on the ground, uh, it's just basically names of of uh, people that have basically visited uh, the Gray Shroud. Looks like this this place is actually called. Uh, looks like it's called Splinterdom. Splinterden. Splinterden. Yep, Splinterden, the Gray Shroud. Yes. I'm gonna ask very. Uh she's reading the book. Uh, do you notice any names in the, the book that seem familiar that we might know from in town? Except for mine. Rat Trap, thank you very much for the follow. Do I notice what did, what did you sign in there? What what name did you sign, Kenshi? Did you sign your real name? or? Yeah, I'll put uh, Shadow, Shadow Spawn was here. All right. So <laughs> the only other name that you see is a, a name called Bartholomew. Doesn't you know? Doesn't say. Uh, it just said visitor. It says visitor for Taran. Stillnor, thank you very much for the follow, Stillnor. Uh, there are no other words. Thank you. Other than a Bartholomew that has visited here. Is oh, there a date associated with I overheard that uh, Bartholomew was the second in command of Tarn Dars. Very good. Okay, so they have not gotten Very good. too many inspections, I guess. Yeah, and, and David, I would like to go ahead and reiterate to the or uh, explain to the party everything that I overheard. Morius, we about Tarn thank you. And the books. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, basically, what what uh, what Kenshi relays back to you is. They they were talking about how Tarn has a, a sort of like an infatuation with with books, text, scrolls, and you know that's where a lot of the stuff uh, that that is stacked here, you know, from other parts of maybe this level, maybe maybe other parts of the Emerald Spire itself. But it looks like this is just like eh, goods of spoil, really nothing worth of value. But Ken, she does tell you that uh, she does have an infatuation with books. She takes the books. And then nobody ever sees them again. So, but you know, everybody, go ahead. Everybody that is in the room between uh, Kenshi and Vey, why don't you two give me uh, perception checks? I'm just going to give it to the to the high roller of what the the actual goods are in this room. Okay, so Vey. You find kind of kind of hanging on the wall between the between the rope and the lever. You see that there are seven wooden noisemakers that are hanging from pegs, and you have no clue what these things are for. Now, however, on these little noisemakers, there is a picture. Of a drawn blue spider. What are they hanging on? Can I? They're little pegs. Can I remove it if I wanted. Just, uh, oh, they're okay. they're little iron pegs that are kind of just uh, hammered into the wall. Yeah, sure, you can you can wiggle it loose seven and pull them. a peg off. Yeah, there's seven seven of these identical noisemakers. And they have blue spiders drawn on them. They have blue spiders drawn on them. Yeah. They they just look like a child's noisemaker, you know. You just it has the handle. You spin it around. It goes. So with the ale and the noisemakers, this is like the party room. <laughs> well, your cat looks like a like a gray lion sitting like that. Oh, he's giant. Yeah. 
I want to uh, summon. Holy you. shit! Is that a dog? Jesus! <laughs> God, that was, was a big cat. Oh my god! It is a big, yeah, huge cat. Oh my gosh! It'd be funny if uh, actually Ninja is just a really short guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm only two foot four. <laughs> <laughs> my I name is Frogo. Um, Frodo. Aberdeen and uh, Cade into the room to look at these. Okay. I called them in. I right, headed. While they go in, I'm gonna watch the hallway. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, I do want to check down this. Uh, it looks like there's a little doorway down here and another hallway. I want to yeah. make sure no one's approaching. All right. Well, you get down to to this area here, and you do see a door that is to the west, and you can see down this this hallway. Looks to be more supplies. All right, so you have Cade, and you also have Aberdeen in the room with you now, Vay. Have Xyrophon, he's out there looking, uh, making sure nothing is happening. Coast looks clear. You don't hear any noises. You don't see anything. Nothing to the north, nothing climbing down. Well, nothing coming down the steps at you either, so good shape. Okay. That was so clutch they killed that guy running away. That is so clutch. I guess it looks like Because they would have had ten no more guards on them, which would have been really rough. And they all have like blue spiders drawn on them. You recognize these symbols? Or anything about this? Well, they're, they definitely look like the... They're drawn like that, that blue spider, like the blue spiders that you had, you know, encountered on the level above you, and the dead one that's back there in the other, in the other chamber. Can I tell what these are, Dave? They're if they're they have like any a significance or anything. They're yeah, it's just a child's noisemaker with a picture of a spider on it, and they just they just make noise. They it's a child's noisemaker with a picture of a spider on it. <laughs> I mean, the, the only thing that's I wonder if they're like some kind of uh, like sound controlling device for the spider things or anything like that. All right, well, I'm going to mention yeah. to those who have not been here before that we fought a lot of these spiders on the floor above. Oh. Yeah, the only Maybe thing... They're, I believe they're, they're called moon spiders. They were they're moon spiders. Probably bluish. Yeah, they look blue. It's very similar to this. I wonder if this may have something to do with calling them, possibly. Yeah, maybe they summon the spiders with that. Or maybe they scare them away with it. Yeah, calling them or keeping them away. I couldn't imagine I what like to call them. Either way, take one with you and maybe we can try it out later. I Very good, though. That is, yeah, that's that's definitely what you what you think is it could either scare them away or or maybe attract them. Maybe you should find out. Maybe go back up <laughs> into uh, the second level of the spire and and we could test it out. <laughs> oh, we cleared all of that. No, there's still some spiders, especially in the traps. Oh, God. Remember, there's a few that got away. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> So, anyway, dying at all. At so what do you guys, what do you guys think? Well, I'm going to grab these up. I'm going to take one for myself and encourage the others to take one. Use it only in an emergency. They may yeah. either call spiders or possibly scare them away. So yeah, I'll grab one. Be careful they, with it. They don't seem very magical, no thank you. What the the noise Can makers? Can I hear what they're talking about? Sure, you can you can hear them. Sure, get, yeah, sure, you can hear them talking. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, tell them, you know, why don't you bring one out to me too? Yeah, I'm good to make sure everyone gets one. All right. Thank you, Bay. 
Uh, the one that I have, though, I am going to cast Detect Magic on it. Or actually, just in the room in general. Let's see what that would see. Okay. Detect Magic? Sure. Yeah. Nothing. It doesn't... You know, you cast your spell. It doesn't uh, wield any kind of magical, you know, magical properties. None of the elements are represented in that. Not for magic. Alright. Well, I shrug and uh, toss it into my backpack. Mordecai! Thank you for the follow, Mordecai. Right. Call up the Genji. Uh, you see anything down that way? I see one door, and I see a hallway that continues on. There's a couple more barrels down the hallway, but uh, nothing, no movement. We're safe. Alright. Well, I pull out my mouth and start pacing off the room. The map is all out. Okay. I'm going to go up here to this uh, piece of the spire that's... Uh, Nibradu! Thank you very much, Nibradu, for the follow. Look at it. Welcome to the community. See if I can find anything on it. Yeah, you get up to the, the portcullis. You can get up to about right here. Uh, Xerophon and the portcullis is just blocking. You don't see any kind of handles. You're trying to look around to the side. You don't, you don't see anything. But it's it's definitely the it's the emerald spire this is a spire that's protruding several miles up into the sky same yeah, color this is uh, being blocked it I is the portal is yeah. inside the well I haven't been in there so I wouldn't know that never mind <laughs> hey there is a uh, yeah a, a two notch lever in here Uh, check that out mechanically and see if it is safe. And in the meantime, I'm going to check through these crates and barrels and see if there's anything of importance in them or usefulness. All right, David, I'm going to move up there to that lever and make sure that there's uh, no dangers associated with it. No, just uh, it's a, like I said, it's in the up position. And there's no middle position, so it's just a up and down lever. I mean, you can uh, you can see that there's gears and whatnot inside, but you're you know, other than that, just by just a glance at it, uh, it definitely controls something. You're not sure uh, what it controls, though. All right, guys, I can uh, flip this lever here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any inherent dangers in flipping it, unless uh, it drops a ceiling on somebody somewhere. Oh, don't say that. I have don't never done that. anything like that before, Vey. How dare you? <laughs> I'm getting nightmare. Never done that. So you, you pull the lever down? Is that what yeah, you want I'll to do? Pull the lever right. down. So you pull yeah. the lever down. Ah, you hear some clicking. Click, 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 click. And then... Uh, over here, the yeah, porculus. <laughs> now, the the porculus starts to rise slowly. So the porculus does open. I'm gonna go ahead and relay that to the the group. You know that that the, the porculus is opening. And then a portcullis just slams down on Vea in the middle of nowhere. Just slams down from the ceiling, crushes down to the ceiling. Just. <laughs> Uh, that poor Carlos has got to go somewhere, right? While that was going on, I just moved over to the corner to do some praying. While you guys were doing that. Well, and, and what are you what are you praying about there, Aberdeen Dungington, the half orc? Uh, he's a little upset that uh, he's drunk and he's supposed to help these people, and he's missed so much uh, during the fight. <laughs> so Ve, as you as you walk down to this this statue down here, this is a, a a statue of a woman with a water urn standing, you know, in the corner of this hallway. As you as you get close to the statue, you hear a click, and the vase she kind of tilts the vase over towards you. 
So I, I want you to give me a saving throw. And the saving throw that I want you to give me is a fortitude saving throw. Unfortunately, your perception roll that I did for you just was not high enough. So all of a sudden, maybe as this... Time. Yeah, as, maybe next time, Vey. As, yeah, as the vase pours over, and a green gas starts to pour out of the vase. Ooh, a DC 18 fortitude. Fortitude saving throw, Mrs. Vey. Oh. <laughs> Did you miss? <laughs> so close. <laughs> so, as you get a a. a Big inhale of this. DC was a five, right? This, uh, yeah, the DC was definitely a five. But unfortunately, you rolled a one, and a one's an automatic failure. So, yes, you get a, a, a huge inhale because you're, you know, Boris is kind of nudging at you a little bit, so you're really not paying attention. So as, as soon as you hear this this hissing, you look up and ah, uh, and then you inhale this this green toxic type of fumes that are coming out of the mouth of the vase and now you have a couple conditions on you you are now fascinated and you are sickened for 1d4 rounds so I will go ahead and do a four sided roll for you so this you are going to be yeah you are fascinated and sickened <laughs> for the next uh, little bit of time seconds. Yeah. For, so you're you're just going wow and then, yeah. Ugh. Do I do I see anything profound? I am going to. <laughs> it, it it had no type of you know it was it was definitely, uh, you know and there's the the gas is still lingering in here also. So you're starting to to hear things. You're starting to see worms climbing in and you know, into the eyes and the ears of the statue and and the 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 smoke that is still pouring out of the vase is like a like snakes. And it's they're just keep they just keep slithering out and there are these long snakes that are just going everywhere. So you're in you're in amazement. You're going, oh wow and this happens for eighteen seconds. And then afterwards, you just start letting it up. I mean, it, all everything that you ate in the morning uh, is now on the ground in front of you. Color Voinin, thank you very much for the follow, Color. Thank you. Push Morris back. Yeah, and you guys, you guys can, you guys can uh, hear Vey uh, down to the south. You can, you can see her kind of shaking the cobwebs out. And Cade, you can also also see some of this green mist uh, from the vase. And as you're looking down to the south, you can see that the vase moves back up into an upright position. I, I pushed Boris away. I moved back over to the crates and kind of ran over the crates. Ugh. Oh yeah, you're 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 feeling like utter shit right now. All right, so uh, I, I see and hear that happening down there, so I can move down there and possibly disable that and make sure she's all right. Sure. That's my stuff. You can give me a, uh, you can give me a, uh, a perception check. You know, where where are you at anyway? You know, you're you're way up there, so yeah. You you heard this going on. Uh. Yeah, she. Yeah, you. I'll let you get down there. You can do a perception check to to see if you see anything. Maybe, maybe some kind of wire or or, or plates. Oh, as he walks by, I turn to watch a step. Big snakes. Stuff on the floor. Snakes, worms. Oh. All right, everybody, step back. Let me do my thing. 
Ah, very nice. So, as you're kind of surveying the area, you're looking for wires, you're looking for any kind of like possible holes on the walls, you see that there are several raised plates down around the, the whole base of the statue. And basically, if you're, you know, if you gets within basically a several feet of the statue, then you'll trip these plates. And you can hear, you know, with this perception check, you can hear a click. And being someone of shadow and of your skill set, you think that this is possibly resetting. Because you can hear a click. Click. Okay. Like it's right. resetting. Okay, so uh, with the raised plates, I should be able to go up there and maybe jam some little nails in there or something to Absolutely. prevent it from depressing. Yeah, yeah, you could probably use your uh, your arsenal of, of thieves' goods. You give me a disable device check. Ah, that's right, disable device, thank you. Yep. Disable device. Toto, we're not playing D&D &D 5e anymore. <laughs> so, so uh, as you're fiddling dead. around... Everything's dead. <laughs> I know. So you're down there fiddling with this, and you're down there for probably, you know, a minute, and it's still clicking, and you're not able to... This is something that you just... This is actually quite complex to you. But you, you don't you don't think you got Damn this? Damn it! I don't know if I'm going to be able to disable this one, guys. We might have to uh, tread very lightly around the statue. Why don't you just knock it over? There could be a very Aloit thirty. Thank there. you very much, Aloit thirty. Thank you for the follow, guys. Thanks for the follow. Color Voinen, Vibruta, Mordecai, Morius, Stillnor, Rat Trap, the Hurt Gamers, Wembo. Gold O'Roney, Fire Ferret, Colonel Sanders, Ulta the Beef 85, Tiny Bison. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Appreciate it. Well, they, do you remember what triggered that? <laughs> I was definitely the <laughs> raised plates that are around the statue that triggered it, but unfortunately the raised plates haven't are, had a chance. Uh, it's too complicated for me to disable. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right, well, I mean, mark them off. Follow me, Twitter, Facebook. Around. All that good stuff. I will pull a piece of chalk out of my backpack which is actually in my backpack, and uh, mark off the areas that the uh, would trigger the trap so people can avoid them. Karate! Thank you very much for the follow, Karate. Yeah, I like it. So you can just, you know, you whatever Vey has drawn down there, that's pretty much where you've chalked it off. Very good. <laughs> that's my upchuck. Yeah, you kind of you give the, the upchuck the, the, the corpse white chalk line, you know. While runs. That's going on, I'm going to walk down here by the the um, spire. Okay. And yeah, the door's just open. Just kind of look around. Okay. So, Aberdeen, you can see that uh, the druid isn't feeling too good. She she seems to be uh, uh, under the weather right now. Chaosix, thank you very Do much I for the follow. Any particular conditions on me? Uh, no, uh, 18 seconds has gone by. Now to the okay. north. And also in this in this room where you're at now, uh, <laughs> I love this name, Xerophon. This the emerald spire is protruding from the western wall of this room. You know, you you know that this 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 emerald spire is a you know it's a it's a cylinder that goes two miles up into the air. So you can see uh, about half of this, and the rest the other half is inside of the wall. Now you can also see that there is a flight of stairs to your north. This goes up to an identical type of wall with the same type of sturdy wooden door that is in the other room that you just came from. There is also a set of stairs that are descending down into pure darkness. And on this wall in front of you, there are the same four arrow slits that, you know, basically are on the, the, the other wall as well. And on this green crystal, on the, on the green spire, Xerophon, you can see all these little symbols 
everywhere, just covering the entire, uh, just covering the entire, you know, crystal. It's just the same symbol okay. over and over and over and over and over. And you remember Vey and Scandroid around the breakfast table, they were talking to you about these symbols that, you know, represent, you know, that are represented on, on each level of this dungeon. Okay. Give me a give me a perception check, Xerophan. Okay. That was terrible. Yeah, just just asked for just asked for a check. Just a simple little check. Alright, so you see the stairs? Stairs ascending up uh, to what what appears to be another uh, another wall, more arrow slits, another door. Yes. All right. You see the all of the the markings on the spire, the stairs descending down in the darkness, back to everyone in the in the in the long room. Scandroid, what about you? You've been you've been pretty quiet. Aberdeen, what about uh, you? Well, I've just been watching what was going on here and helping them out with that. Uh, was there anything down in the other direction? Yeah, I kind of wipe some stuff off my lips and point to that. Yes, there's another hallway down that way. It looks like some more crates and barrels. Yes, in addition to the vomit, there are more crates and barrels. There's also <laughs> a door right down here. Uh, right down this hallway here, there's yeah, a little door. There. Yeah, that's another door there, too. We have so many directions to go in. In a moment. But uh, we do need to map the entire floor, so everything needs to be discovered. David, is it okay if I go over to this door and uh, check Absolutely. it out? Absolutely. Sure thing. So, what are you what are you checking for to see if it's locked? If it's if it's uh, well, trapped? Standard operating procedure is look for traps first, then look for locks, then uh, kick it open. Gotcha. I, I like part. the kick open part. I haven't had a rogue just kick a do door open yet. Because you know I want to give you a strength check for that. You know I want I, I want you to fail that strength check and then bounce off the door and fall. And that would be great. Okay. So Not a strength class at all. No. <laughs> when you... Oh, actually, uh, I, I probably realize at this point that I'm still bleeding from being attacked. Uh, is anybody throwing out any type of healing spells? Or should I just drink a little potion to get those... Not well, you found back. you guys found two healing potions, so I don't know how you guys are going to distribute that, but you did find a couple healing potions. It what it wasn't a it wasn't a beer healing potion either. So for Aberdeen, <laughs> <laughs> but Aberdeen, you you found Aberdeen, you found an entire case of twelve bottles, uh, twenty four bottles of dwarvish ale. Looks like the good stuff. I don't want the ale. Sure. How much is it worth to you, Andy? Game. <laughs> I'm I don't not want shaving the ale. Done with it. Nice try, though. <laughs> I even turn around and and that little like uh, um thing that I have on my pack, the uh, the, the little pony the keg. Ale. Yeah. Yeah, I take that. And I slam it on the ground. <laughs> and I know. I just want to apologize to everybody. Uh, I, I'm drinking too much, and I put everybody's life at jeopardy, and I apologize. Oh wow! Wow! You you've been drinking your holy water. You're no uh, fun. A little bit here and there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Wow. No, it's not on Steam, Tiny Bison. Yeah, it wasn't holy water. It was. Uh, I took a little ale from uh, from the arms. Oh, well, no, pain guy. They're they're awesome in five e. There's a uh, you know you lost seven to ten different glorks. Regain for your honesty. It's awesome. 
clerics are really good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate Tempest that. Tempest Cleric, War Priest.